Thanks for joining us today on Folk Style. Uh, we started the season and, and had two great shows. Great idea. That's, that's smart. And uh, we just settled in quite nicely. It's a lovely spring day in April. And so many of us are thinking, what are we going to do with our kids during the summer? Grandmas, grandpas, moms and dads, what are we going to do to keep those kids busy? Well, we've got the answer. We have three guests today who will give you some super ideas of what to do this summer. Stay tuned. <music> We have a treat for you today. We have Janie Jefferson with us. She's the director of AIM, Arts Integrated Ministry, as well as the owner of the dance studio here in town. Welcome, Janie. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on. Oh, absolutely. I know you have a terrific, busy, busy schedule and a terrific show that we've caught you in the middle of. Yes. You, you had one set of performances. You have another set yes, of performances? Yes, we, um, I direct the Arts Integrated Ministry. We're doing Acts, A City Rising, and our opening weekend was last weekend, and uh, we have our next uh, set of performances coming up Friday, Saturday, and a matinee on Sunday. Oh, that's going to be great. Oh, yes. Where are you showing? Where is it? Uh, we're at the Independence First Baptist Church, which mm -hmm. is right across the street from Central High School, mm -hmm. and we perform right there in their sanctuary. We've transformed it into a... Uh, into a theater. We have lights and a sound system and, and, a, and a stage, and it's pretty amazing. Good, good. How many, are, and they're most, mostly youth? We or have not. quite a few youth. Um, this year, we actually have quite a few adults that, oh, have, that have come and joined our team. Uh, we have 54 people in the wow. cast, and I would say at least a third of them are adults. And then you have people who do costumes and people who do makeup and sets. Yes, and, and lights and sound, sound and run the microphones and, and all that. So we have a, a whole crew backstage, uh, you know, backstage managers and um, volunteer parents to watch the children sure. backstage. Sure, good. Yeah, so lots and lots of people involved in this production. Well, fabulous. Yeah. So uh, for our viewers who are not familiar with AIM, you do secular and non-secular pieces. Yes, we do. We started uh, in 2014, we did a small children's musical, um, and I shouldn't say we because I wasn't involved way back then, uh, called Malice in the Palace, and then oh. we did, it was a story of Esther. And the next year is when I got involved, we did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and last year we did Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and this year it's a biblically based play, it's called Acts a City Rising, based Great. on the story of Acts in the Bible. So how long ago did you start rehearsing for this? For Acts, we had auditions in January, the beginning oh. of January, so it's been a couple months. Okay, good. So they know all the songs and the dance steps. In or theory. <laughs> their marks and all Oh, that. yeah, they, they have done such a great good. job. I'm really proud of my cast. That's great. That's great. But that's not your primary. You've, you've just been the director for a short while. Yes, just this year. Yeah, but you've been involved. Um, tell us what, tell us about the dance studio and things you do there. Sure, yeah. So the dance studio has been my baby for almost 20 years. Um, and I teach ballet, tap, jazz, musical theater, hip hop, also social dance. And that's just been my, my passion to teach dance to children and to yeah. adults. And we do, we have classes during the school year and also during the summer, a different session during the summer. And we've, uh, we do a recital every year. Coming up, we have Alice in Wonderland. We're doing, um, it's at, it'll be performing at Central High School okay, good. Uh, at the end of May, beginning mm -hmm, of June. Mm -hmm. So I've got little ones 18 months old. Um, oh, I, I know, <laughs> they're very so cute. cute. Um, and I think my oldest dancer is in her 60s. She's oh, a grandma. Really? She's a grandma and, and she takes Does ballet. Does she do tap or she ballet? She tap and ballet. Yeah. yeah. I remember I went through that process when I was young. My daughters went through it. Yes. It was more to help us with coordination was sure. <laughs> always my mother's yes. uh, reasoning for doing it. It was, So and I it didn't trip help. over it, my feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does help with coordination for sure. Balance and so forth. Absolutely. Yeah, good, good. So um, you've been doing this for 20 years and you went to school here. I did, here at Western. Western. And mm -hmm. did you major in dance? I did. 
Okay. Yes, yes. And where did you come from before? Actually, I'm born and raised in Monmouth. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I've been here my entire life, never left. Okay. Well, a good place to be. Oh, yes, I love Monmouth. Tell us what you like about it, because this part of our show is promoting the area. Oh, sure. So I'm thinking you've got well let's see we've got a great dance studio here in town and there's a great community theater (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the small town feel Um, I love how everyone knows everyone Mm -hmm. and um, I love that I can send my my children can can walk to buy Mart and and get whatever it is they want to get at buy Mart and um, it's just it's great. Whenever I go to a large city, I always think, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I don't live in a large city because the traffic and the crazy people and yeah, the parking. Yeah, and, parking. Uh, yeah, that's always an issue, isn't <laughs> right? it? Right. Yeah. So I just, and, and I love, I love the festivals that our, that our town has, you know, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. The, in, uh, right around the 4th of July and all, all that stuff and, and making spirits bright in December and, and just, just all the, and the Easter egg hunts and just the stuff like that, that that's so great for our youth. It our is. Use. It is. So I know uh, I attended a meeting about the 4th of July and I understand you'll be participating this we will. year. Yes. So is yes. that as AIM or the studio? Um, probably a mix of both, though oh. I haven't talked to anyone about it yet. Okay. <laughs> so okay. if, you're, if, if you're one of my students or a member of my cast, then... Just be waiting for the email from me. <laughs> so do you have um, Nutcracker? Nutcracker seems to be the obligatory. Oh, sure. I- isn't it? Uh, yeah. How many times have you performed We nutcracker? have actually never performed the Parts actual Nutcracker. We have done our own version of the mm-hmm, Nutcracker, and I think sure. we've done it twice. Um, usually our Christmas performances, um, we, we try to choose a different theme. Uh-huh. Every, every year, last year we did the twelve days of Christmas, and so we had a class. That's a that sweet the, idea. It was very, it was very fun. We had the twelve, you know, the uh, the drummers drumming and the maids and milking and you know different Lords classes. Lords leaping, Lords leaping. Yeah, the different yeah. different classes, different classes. So, fun. Um, yeah, just something different every year. But yeah, there's always elements of the Nutcracker that that slip in. It's fun. I know we had um, at the Making Spirits Bright the the group. I'm not quite sure which group came to do a sing along, and uh-huh. and uh, it was a blast. Um, and one of the things we did was the Twelve Days of Christmas singing and holding up the signs. Oh yes, and such beautiful voices in there. So much that fun to sing together. Lots of fun. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason we're doing this show in April is my. I have two daughters, five grandchildren, and this summer is going to be one of those. What are we going to do with the kids during the summer? So I'm thinking that you probably have specific things planned already. We do. do have- We're working on our schedule. It'll be out on our website very soon. Uh, but the types of things that we do, we have um, classes for children and for adults. So, you know, a ballet class, a tap class, a jazz class. And those usually take place in July and early mm-hmm. August. Mm-hmm. And then a really fun thing that we have is we call it Princess Camp or oh. Ballet Fairy oh. Camp. Um, and we did, last year we did a superhero camp. And oh, it's good. a four day camp. It's in the mornings for ages four to, four to eight. And it's um, three hours, nine to noon. And they get to come and play and dress up and hear a story and make a craft and have a snack. And they have a dance class and they learn some dances. And at the end of the week, we perform. We go to the Main Street Park and just oh, jump on the amphitheater goodness. stage there and, and do a little performance for the, oh, for the parents. And oh. it's just so much fun. So much fun, little day camp. That's so adorable. we're working on the dates for that as Good. well. Good. Well, we'll have to put up your website or on the screen Ex- so folks excellent. can keep checking. Okay. As soon yes. as it's there. Yes. Great. Excellent. Well, I so appreciate you coming on. Absolutely. Thank you very yes, much. Yes. Thank you so much. And have fun with the next performance. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're here with Amy Riso. She's here at the Research Institute, and she's been a native of Monmouth for many years, but she has something fun planned for this summer, and we're going to talk about that. Welcome, yeah, Amy. Thank you. It's good thank, to be here. Oh, thanks for coming on. I, I heard your name at a um, grant proposal thing at, uh, for the Monmouth Recreation, and uh, I thought it was such a fascinating idea what you were going to do, um, but before we get to that, we should get a little information on you. Okay. 
So um, you're from Monmouth originally? Yes, okay. yes. I grew up in Monmouth. I've been here. And, and you went to school here? Correct, yes. So I um, started at OSU and then I transferred to Western. I graduated from Western. And you uh, graduated in art, is it? Yes, yeah. correct. I have a degree yeah. in art and a, a minor in art history. Do you keep getting to use that? And yeah, definitely. Art is a is a life is a lifelong thing yeah. that, you, that you get to do. You know, different so capacities. But maybe unwind and mm -hmm. and okay, I'm going to go sketch a bit or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Good, exactly. Good. And uh, I know you are a magnet. Cum laude. That's yes. pretty <laughs> impressive. Thank you. Um, so you started working immediately at the university? Yes. Um, actually, the day that I graduated, the day after, um, I, okay. I started you working. Became official. Exactly at the at the research institute. And had and you been, been interning there or or work study or something? Yeah, I'd been a student worker um, oh, okay. there for two years, and then transitioned nicely into a um, actual staff position after good, that. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, so I work at the Research Institute. I work at the Center on Early Learning and Youth Development. Mm -hmm. um, and we have different projects that we work on statewide. The one that I mainly work on is called SPARC. Um, it's a oh. quality rating and improvement system. Okay. And so we help um, improve the quality of child care in Oregon, all across Oregon. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. that's Exciting. great. I have heard of SPARC. So yeah. now, okay, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, one of the things I... Um, learned at the the recreation thing was that your summer plans uh, would involve using the park. Yes. But flesh it out for us yeah. just a little bit. <laughs> um, so the activity is going to actually be on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're really trying to make it all inclusive um, for people. And so we're going to have activities for children available um, to promote physical fitness. Good. And um, the entire thing is going to be available in Spanish um, as oh, well as English. Excellent. Yeah, to hopefully incorporate mm -hmm. more of our community mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. um, we'll also have um, free information um, for uh, the parents as well uh, about different resources in our community. Good. Um, and it allow for lots of networking, not only between the businesses, but between community members and businesses to find out what's available um, around health and fitness yeah. in our community. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And we'll have free classes for adults too while we're there. So the kids get to just, you know, off the top of your head, some of the fun things you yeah. have in mind. So some of the fun things we have in mind is we have a age appropriate obstacle course for them to go through. I love that idea. Yeah, so it's all ages. We have from, you know, barely walking all, you know, all the way up. So there are different levels and people will help them go through. Uh -huh. um, and then we also have it av uh, available for kids of different ability levels. So if there are children in, we in wheelchairs or maybe not mm -hmm. different physical mm -hmm. abilities, there'll be um, opportunities for them to participate as well. Good. Um, Good. Hopefully we're, we're going to secure down a bounce house. I mean, who doesn't love one of those. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does that sound like fun? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. And you're getting businesses involved. So yes. you're talking to fitness centers mm -hmm. and seeing if they would like to set exactly. up a table. And yeah, exactly. So since this is a free event, um, I'm reaching out to businesses and um, asking for them to either donate something or have a table for information. Um, I do have one main sponsor, um, Firehouse CrossFit, good. has agreed to sponsor us, and so they'll be doing a lot of the work with volunteering good. and providing equipment and helping set up and clean up, so I'm really excited about excellent, that. Excellent, yeah. excellent. I love how you're using both uh, the community and it's it's the reason for its existence, you know, yeah. the uh, so that grant will go to a, a good, a good use. Mm -hmm. It sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you always been interested in fitness, or? Um, actually, yeah, I have. From a young age, I grew up doing um, doing sports, and I've mm -hmm. continued um, just staying, you know, physically active throughout my life. And yeah. uh, as I've gotten older, I've really shifted to making it more accessible. And it's not just about com you know competing, but getting uh -huh. everyone involved. Uh -huh. so. And you've got a little guy, and yes, I'm, I, I bet you get a lot of exercise <laughs> chasing after him. Yes, I do. It's a very fun age. Oh, so. it is. It's an adorable yeah. age. And one of the uh, the picture you you've given us is mm -hmm. he, it's a darling, yeah. <laughs> darling shot of him and his daddy. The other thing I was going to ask about: been born and raised here in town. Mm -hmm. What do you like about Monmouth? Mm -hmm. There's so many things I love about Monmouth. Um, I really like, you know, of course, the the small, close community. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, we really like 
band together. And that's why this mm -hmm. uh, grant is such an amazing opportunity that mm -hmm. I feel comfortable that businesses are willing to donate and participate. Yeah. It's not everywhere you go that things, yeah. you know, that people... We're just the right it's, size. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I also like um, that independence is so close and mm -hmm. um, I feel like we have some diversity and I'm really excited mm -hmm. about um, integrating both um, uh, cultures. I think we have an amazing Latino community um, as well as English speaking community. So I hopefully this event will help. I think that's terrific. Those two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That you're you're filling a need. I think yeah. this is going to be terrific, and hopefully it'll happen for many many years. Yes, that's yeah. that's the goal every time. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of people to sign in. <laughs> yeah. So um, you haven't always been here though. You've done a little bit of traveling. Yes, correct. So. Yeah. Countries you've been to, mm -hmm. other. Um, well, I did. I studied abroad in Chile when I was at OSU, um, which was fun. Got experience a little culture and learned some um, Spanish language. And then um, I've been to um, East Africa, so that's that was uh, mm. super fun. High school and then uh, Central America. Lots of traveling in Central America. My husband's okay. originally from Mexico, so oh, every year okay. we go back to visit his family. Oh, okay, what part? Yeah, um, he's from Guadalajara, so it's oh, so yeah, southern. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a very nice area. Yeah, there are lots of fun. Yeah, good. he's from a big town. It's very fun and diverse. Oh so good. We go there every year, and so we absolutely love traveling and hope to do continue to do more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you were, you said Nairobi, or, or yeah. you said East Africa, <clears throat> but Nairobi was that for a short time? Was that a like um, yeah? A it was just a short time. We were there for a couple of weeks. Um, got the opportunity to partner um, with some. Uh, local, uh, there was an orphanage that we got to help oh, out in, oh. and then um, there was also a school, and it was cool because it was early learning, it yeah. was grade school, and so seeing the way that different countries do education I think is vital, and we sure. learn from them, and so it was eye-opening, it was a really cool good, experience. So, good, yeah. and, and in a way you're also using this experience in your job. Exactly, yeah. You can apply that. Oh, definitely. It's oh. really good to have a diverse view, you know, especially when you're working with kiddos. It's, it's really yeah. important. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see. You had also mentioned that you might have some kind of, as well as the fitness, mm -hmm. you know, obstacle course and so forth, you might have some nutrition or health exactly. or mental health or yeah. some kind of booths. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be awesome, too. You're making yeah. a... a a good investment in our community, yeah. and I hope people see it that way. And yeah. do you have a date selected yes, yet? Yes, I do. It's June first, which is a Saturday. Okay. Yeah. How are we going to find out about that? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we'll want yeah. to have a Facebook page. Do you think? Yeah. So will you do yes, that? Yes, I will do okay, that. Good. So I'm hoping to have a several things. It's still in the um, more pla the planning stages. I just sure. got awarded the grant, um, but I'm planning on having a Facebook page and then disseminating information using some of Western's resources good. as well as the community kind of old school flyers posted. There up. you go. And you know yeah. the enclosure with our bills. Oh yeah, definitely. That, Mammoth Utility. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Okay. That would be a great place yeah. to put that. Um, Oh, it's mm -hmm. going to be fabulous. Yeah. And word of mouth, hopefully, too, is always oh, a great yes. way of... It, mm -hmm. it truly is, and the yeah. way it works in a lot of ways. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been wonderful having you on the yeah. show. Thanks, Thank Amy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. And we'll be right back. We have Carrie Kasparik with us now. She's the Youth Services Librarian in Monmouth. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm so glad you could come on today. Me you, too. You're probably right in the middle of ordering books and cataloging books. and. I am. I am. In fact, I just got in $1,500 worth of Ooh. summer reading books. Oh, good. That um, the friends of the library purchased for us for book oh, prizes. Oh, good. Oh, so, good. Yes. So do you just... Uh, have them set aside by age group or? I do. The friends, uh, they also stamp the books. Oh. A gift from friends of the Mammoth Library. Good. And I have them set aside by age group for the for the book prizes. So How exciting. many children do you expect to join? Um, I expect a, almost 500 to 550 to sign wow. up. Wow, so that's great. It's big. Yeah. And then how long does the program last? So this year it's going to be a little bit longer because we are letting them sign up before school good. ends. Good, So it'll be June 7th to August 15th this year. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And then the summer slide, this is going to help with that issue, with those, those students getting back to school and not having to learn to read all over again? Oh, absolutely. Summer slide is the, the common term used 
in the in the learning world, in the library world, yeah. and with educators as well. And basically, it's just emphasizing that it's important for children to continue to challenge their minds and view it as good. the brain being a muscle that needs exercise oh. during the summertime. Oh, good. So it helps them with their learning and their retention and comprehension when they go back to school. Good. Versus having to kind of relearn and reutilize right, those tools. Right, right. So it's very so, important. So the reading is probably the most important, but then will they be learning something in the sciences or anything? Are there anything like that going on at the library? Absolutely. Tell us what's sure. happening Sure. So the theme this year is a universe of stories. And it's a wonderful tie-in with mm -hmm. the NASA at My Library grant. Mm -hmm. And in fact, NASA worked with the um, collaborative summer learning program that is used nationwide to come up with a lot of the Perfect. recommended activities. So it's going to be space-related and be um, STEM-related as well. They're so going to love it. They're going to love it, and we're going to have Thursday programs and performers, and on Good. the non-performer days, we're going to tap into those STEM science So I activities. see a lot of volcanoes being made out of vinegar and baking soda. You know, doesn't everybody get to do that? Mm -hmm. We actually did that at the library. <laughs> sure. One of my programs. Sure. Yeah. And then bubbles, you know, blowing bubbles. Some mm -hmm. For some reason, you can pull science into that. You can talk about the... There is some scientific aspect to it. There is. Anyway. We haven't really done a bubble program yet, but... That's yet. That's yet. <laughs> We'll call you when we need it. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember my kids loving to go to the science museum where you stand in the middle of like a kiddie pool that's full of, of the soapy substance, mm -hmm. and then you raise the yes. thing up over your head, and you're inside the bubble. Oh, it's incredible. It's lots of fun. Yeah. 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 Well, we're going to focus more on things like building little rockets and oh, cool. little planes cool. and, and learn about rocks and, and outer space. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you also have some entertainment aspect of it, too. You'll have I know you'd said a puppeteer. Oh, who else yeah. do you have coming? What what other things? So we'll have. So far, I have booked three programs that are going to be on Tuesday evenings. Okay. And I'm really excited because one is actually an award-winning puppeteer who's oh. bringing her marionette show, and okay. it's it's summer, but it is Snowflake Bentley is the title. And it involves STEM because he is okay. the first person to photograph an individual snowflake. Oh, And so it's, okay. it's STEM related and it's Good. going to be incredible. And I was able to coordinate a time when she's going to be out this way. Good. So we're going to have her and Good. we're going to have a puppet show called... Um, Rocket Hamster, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have the University of Oregon present a space science program on okay. a Tuesday evening as well. Good. So those Good. are our Tuesdays. And then Thursdays, we're going to have four or five so far. And they include Red Yarn, which is an incredible incredible musician, Good. A, a hit every time, Good. Good. as well as the reptile man who is... <laughs> <laughs> I won't be going. No, but you I can will. Tell me about it. He yeah. draws a big crowd yeah. and a ventriloquist and a comedian. Oh, a ventriloquist. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's going to be a variety and those will be on Thursday morning. Fun. Fun. And then I have Mad Science coming on a Saturday morning. So it's I've got be all a kinds fun of fun filled stuff. summer. Yeah, yeah in addition good. to the programs, special programs where it's hands on science and, good. and some story time reading type of things. Well, yeah, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. Movies. I I remember taking my children to the library and they would show Bambi. This mm -hmm. is, you know, 40 well, years ago, but uh, you know, I'm sure libraries <laughs> are the same where they still yeah. Show films occasionally? Yeah, we do, actually. Thankfully, our friends of the Monmouth Library 
purchase for us every year oh, there you two are. different movie licenses. Oh. So we're able to show a nice variety of okay. newly released videos, and we are going to have some of those on Fridays. Good. Yeah. So what a some, blast. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So how are we going to find out about these fun events? It, you have a Facebook page. We do. We post all of our flyers on Facebook. Okay. And also we have our calendar that comes out that's at the circulation desk. Okay. And um, individual flyers for different things sure. as well. So and since the kids are able to sign up before school is out, I assume the teachers are getting the information to distribute maybe? Or the schools? So they have a... Um, online website okay. for posting flyers, okay. so I'll try to get that on there. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. good. good. Yeah. What fun. It sounds like fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, we've, we've talked to two prior guests, both of them from the area. Mm -hmm. You're our solo gal from out of town. Oh. So tell us, <laughs> tell us about your background. Where are you from? Oh, sure. I have a, a very um, unique background, I think. Mm -hmm. I was born in Helena, Montana, and then when I was three, we moved to Salem, Oregon. And then when I was nine, we moved to Dunwoody, Georgia. And then when I was 13, we moved back to Montana. And then when I was 16, we moved to Connecticut. And so on and so on. And yeah. I've, I've also lived in Utah and Colorado and California. And I moved back here to Salem about five years ago for this okay. job. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. And you wanted to come back because why? Why did you want to come back to Every us? time that I visited Salem, um, people have been just so warm and kind. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not often that you encounter a community where people would s just pull over and help you if your car yeah. was broken down. Yeah. Or, you, know, you just get this feeling, you know, and the the clerks still offer to carry your groceries out and mm -hmm. it's just such a mm -hmm. lovely area the people are so nice and i love the weather too it's so beautiful here i've always found uh you can tell a lot by the grocery store line mm -hmm. if if you're in monmouth or independence you're going to find that the person behind you says what are you going to do with your um chicken you're buying there what recipe do you have you know oh, yeah. it's it's fun <laughs> and, and the the clerk will say well I use this or that mm -hmm. and have you ever tried jam and mustard and and it was it's been an experience I love mm -hmm. being in this size town yeah so. it's wonderful yeah. the community here is really fantastic well I hope you stick around for a lot longer I plan on it thank you <laughs> good thanks for coming on Thank and you for having me. I look forward to those programs. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Weren't they fabulous guests? So enthusiastic about their projects. I can't wait to see what happens this summer. You can see this show on our YouTube channel on Winpeg, MyNet channel 718, and of course our Facebook page, Poke Salad a bounty of conversation. Until next time, we'll see you around town. Mm -hmm.